I would like to hear more details about that. If that is a possibility, then uh, it's going to be a short discussion. After that, um, yeah. after that, uh, <clears throat> we will uh, start the uh, the lesson here in yeah. um, in the online that we have. Um, the yeah. um, the 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 course that we are going to focus on today is how to talk about events that are happening um, at the time of speaking. So, for example, unemployment is going up. Uh, we have the price of petrol is falling. The number of smokers is increasing. Uh, a lot of people are leaving your company and place of study. This is something that we've talked about last time. Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, this is what we are going to continue talking about it. Um, we are going to um, also talk about uh, more people are working abroad. People are working longer hours. Um, yeah. uh, the price of uh, public transport isn't changing and people are eating healthier food. And then uh, people are larger... Um, People are having larger families with three or four children. These are the major topics okay. that we are going to talk about for today. And they are in a word, uh, in a PDF document in the chat box of Skype. Do you see them? Yes. Okay, sure lovely. Now, the, uh, the thing that we are going to start our discussion with, the thing that we are going to kick start, to kick start our discussion with is the birthday of your brother. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay. Uh, actually, the last three uh, days, I feel uh, very tired uh, because uh, we had uh, many guests. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, uh, they visited my, uh, my mother. Okay. Because uh, uh, she uh, came back from church. Uh, when Yesterday, uh, I was uh, uh, in the Chaperon Mall. Uh, we, uh, uh, I and my uh, sisters uh, mm -hmm. go, and uh, we want to uh, uh, to buy uh, to buy uh, him mm -hmm. uh, some gifts. Okay, that's uh, exciting. So, that is exciting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it should be a, a very special gift for him. He deserves that. Yeah, uh, I uh, bought him uh, a pair of uh, shoes uh, from the uh, Adidas. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it should be expensive. Yeah. Uh, Does he like this kind of brand? Cost, yeah, brand. The cost was the. Uh, one uh, one hundred thirty-five dollars. Uh -huh. One hundred thirty-five dollars. Well, it is it is going to be cheap uh, for a person who works in the Ministry of Oil. I think uh, that that is <laughs> that is affordable for a person who gets uh, for a person who gets around ten million no. dinars. 10 million dinars in, uh, in the Ministry of Oil. 10? 10? Yes. Ten no, no. Uh, they, no. They gave me, uh, they gave me uh, six... Uh, million? Uh, uh, six, uh, no, 600. Oh, 600 millions. No, no. <laughs> well... Uh, uh, six, uh, uh, six hundred thousand. Well, let's not talk about salaries right now. Um, let's talk about your birthday. How was it? Like, did you surprise him with this uh, special gift to his heart? Uh, was it exciting for him? Uh, what was his reaction when he um, when he saw the, the the present that you brought for him? Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, we uh, I am very tired because uh, today uh, I uh, I 
came uh, back to the shopping mall and from uh, the shopping uh, mall my yeah sister, mm -hmm. yeah uh, my sister uh, uh, want to buy him uh, some uh, gifts uh, so i uh, uh, I want. Uh, I went and uh, get her uh, bag from Adidas. Okay. Uh, it cost. Uh, it cost uh, uh, fifty-five dollars. Fifty-five dollars. Well, um, don't you think that's uh, a higher price tag? Price tag. Price tag. Like when I tag someone on Facebook, we call it uh, a price tag. Yeah. Like if um, if you are tagging somebody on Facebook, yeah. you would say, "I would like to tag you." The same word that we have. Tag you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have it for prices. So we say, "What is the price tag of Adidas uh, shoes in uh, in Iraq?" Because I think that there's a little bit of price range difference when it comes to. Uh, Converting the currency, currency here, um, yeah. So the idea uh, is that because there is a little bit of price tag differences between um, Iraqi dinars and U.S. dollars, don't you think that uh, buying a pair of yeah. shoes for hundred thirty dollars is quite above the regular price that we usually? Uh, pay for a regular pair of shoes. Uh, yeah, it is very uh, higher mm -hmm. um, uh, because the U.S. Uh, dollars is uh, higher these days. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it is uh, uh, a brand. Mm -hmm. It's a brand. I I, uh, tot yeah. I I totally agree. But I'm not talking about a brand because uh, this is. Uh, something that is quite common that the brands are pricey pricey the brands are pricey because of the brand pricey pricey uh, yani yeah min kelimat price yani yani ghaliya pricey yeah it's an adjective yeah yeah uh, because brand brands are um brands are expensive people uh, resort to people resort Resort to, how they can resort to? Yeah. Resort to. Resort, resort to. Um, I want you to use a pen and a piece of paper to write these words. So I'm yeah. writing them to you. Price tags, uh, and then resort yeah. to. And I will go slow when it comes to discussing the vocabulary because they are essential to our conversation. Now, if, yeah. if you are given a, a chance to buy something for $130, uh, this is a quite interesting yeah. topic to talk about shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, our, yeah. Our, our formal academic talking today is about shoes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, if you are giving, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, he is uh, always uh, uh, bought from uh, uh, PM brand and uh, Versace and mm -hmm. uh, Ferrari. Uh, so <clears throat> I didn't buy uh, him uh, uh, anything uh, cheap. Okay, so you only buy him the uh, the expensive, pricey price tag uh, items or products. Yeah. Now, uh, is he the yeah. only brother that you got? Uh, is he your only brother? No, no. Uh, I have four brothers. Why are you biased, Munhaza? Why are you biased to this no, brother? No, no, no. Uh, I, uh, uh, I love uh, all of them. Okay. But I feel yeah. you just made me because feel that um he is single ah oh, okay <laughs> that's that is the that is the trick that is the secret okay can can i be your brother yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 can i be your brother so one day i hope i can get another pair of adidas <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, actually, you are uh, my brother. Thank you so much. That's a that's a compliment. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, let me um, let me ask you another question. We have a common saying in English. Um, the the saying al qawl adna to put to put myself um, uh, in my shoes in your shoes. Yep. Now this is something that yeah. we always uh, attribute to uh, switching positions in order to perceive and realize what's going on. So um, we talk about this expression when we want to express that the way I yeah. look at things are different from the way you are looking at things. And this is quite common mm -hmm. uh, in English. We say, if I were in your shoes, not if I was in your shoes. Yeah. Uh, this is the point. And the whole, yeah. was, the where, then the whole action of tirawi. I was not in your shoes because I am not that tiny. Um, so. uh, I, if I were in your shoes, um, I would do the same thing. Now, if I were in your yeah. shoes and I have a little brother who is still uh, enjoying his celibacy, celibacy, azubia, yeah. celibacy, let me yeah, just write. Celibacy. Wow, okay. interesting. Uh, so, Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, just uh, enjoying your... Um, uh, enjoying your lovely time before meeting Amar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So actually, actually I. Uh, here I'm we really go. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say it again. Because. Yeah. Uh, you uh, you wanted to say something about yeah, celibacy. Uh, before before I get a job, uh, he was uh, gave me a lot of money. Uh, when I uh, when I want to go to the shopping mall, uh, so the the younger uh, the younger brother uh, Mustafa, uh, she uh, he is uh, twenty two years old. Mm -hmm. uh, he is uh, he is um, uh, uh, I love him. Mm -hmm. I love him. Uh, What's I his name? Uh, Mustafa, Mustafa. Uh, and uh, my brother's birthday today is uh, Zarram. Zarram. Oh, okay. She, he you... is named, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Mustafa, uh, uh, Mustafa is uh, preparing, uh, preparing the uh, Zarram birthday. Ah, okay. Was uh, it, was it a kind yeah. of surprise or was it like a, um a formal with um you know prior preparation did you tell him that you're uh you're arranging a birthday party to him or um that was just you 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 took him by surprise yeah I took him uh, by surprise describe uh, it to me uh, yeah uh, we, uh, um uh, three last uh, mm -hmm. three last days. Mm -hmm. uh, my uh, younger uh, sister mm -hmm. uh, uh, gave from Mustafa uh, two uh, two hundred um, uh, two hundred thousand, and uh, she uh, put from uh, the room, uh, uh, t shirt from uh, Versace brand of Versace, uh, and uh, she put him. Uh, uh, a watch, a mm -hmm. watch from uh, Casio, uh, and uh, uh, book uh, reserve reservation, uh, uh, a cake, uh, and uh, uh, a lot of things. Uh, He's and, a lucky uh, Mustafa. Uh, Mustafa, you're lucky. Yeah, so so. It's not about your body. Okay. He's kind-hearted. Uh, so the word is kind-hearted. Kind. Yeah. He, hearted. Yeah. Kind-hearted is uh, somebody who is kind, you know, Latif or Hanun. Kind-hearted. Yeah. That's the word uh, that we got for yeah. uh, this uh, this person. Okay. Who is your closest friend yeah. to you? And why do you endear them? Yeah. Uh, be, uh, because the first 
uh, the first one, mm-hmm. Sebel Awad, uh, because the younger of my brothers. Mm-hmm. The youngest. Uh, yeah, the youngest, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, she, uh, he, he is uh, uh, in, the, in the same of uh, Pedro. Say it again. Uh, he is uh, in the same uh, of my bedroom. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, when I uh, talk with the Hossam, mm-hmm. uh, uh, he is, uh, he is uh, remarks. Mm-hmm. He is remarks uh, and uh, uh, make, uh, make us uh, laugh. And, uh, so, uh, so Hossam, he has Hossam, a sense uh, of humor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Hossam uh, loves him uh, so much. When was the and last time you met Hossam? Was, was he in like that today? No, no. Uh, he is uh, in, in the Nasriya. Okay. How is this situation in Nasriya right now? Is it uh, settling? He? Said, he? Uh, yeah, he. Uh, he said uh, the situation is good now. Oh, it, so it is getting uh, settled. Settled. It is yeah. settling in there. Okay. Well, we hope things yeah. get better um, and people get um, these services that they deserve. But since this is not a political platform to discuss the yeah. um, uh, political uh, situation that we got in the country, uh, let's uh, transition to talk yeah. about uh, the agenda for today. We have three things in our yeah. checklist for today. We have three yeah. things in our checklist in the to-do list. To-do. Checklist. Checklist or to-do. To-do, to-do list. Yeah. To-do list. It's a list of things that you have to do. We call it to-do list. Um, yeah. I would like to ask you um, if you talked with Hossam yeah. or if Hossam called you uh, to arrange for an IELTS exam. Yeah registration were you able yeah. to um settle that with him um actually he told uh, told me about this uh, object but mm-hmm. uh, i didn't uh, i uh, i didn't feel ready uh, now okay so uh, you feel you're so, not ready you so, need m- more training for IELTS or um you have other plans uh, no, this uh, now the situation is bad in Iraq, mm-hmm. and uh, so when I bin khadramu, well, musah lazim ma aruf shon al hajiz. Um, the registration is a a piece of cake. It is very easy. I can send you the uh, registration procedure, and the test um, yeah. has multiple locations. One in Erbil. One in Baghdad in the green zone uh, in uh, a Rashid hotel, and uh, yeah. the other third one is in Qaat al Darubi, Medinat al Qib. So it is outside the uh, green zone. Uh, that one is yeah. someone um, uh, quite close, probably to your location, and um, if you're working uh, to get your papers processed for the immigration because this is what you've been planning for since the beginning of our training. You need to make sure that you wrap things up and uh, start uh, hitting the ground running to prepare the official documents that are required. One of them is um, the IELTS exam. And um, I, I suggested to Amar that you take the IELTS test to see where your level is right now in English, and then uh, get a yeah. sense of what is going on in uh, in the IELTS test. After that, yeah. Um, after that, uh, you build on what you discover as a weakness in your skills, and then I'll be helping you with that, of course. So if that yeah. is if that is one of uh, the things that you plan to do, I really think you should do it before. Um, June of this year. 
there are, there are things that are getting complicated yeah. for the application to immigration and you need to to expedite you need to speed up uh, expedite expedite, expedite yeah. is to speed things up yeah expedite يعني سرع to speed up things yeah uh, yeah expedite wonderful expedite okay. i like this word uh jay min kalimat hum atin adna expedition اللي هي بعثة أو إرسال أو يعني يعني بعثة إلى فد مكان معين expedition الفعل هو expedite now since we talked about your family uh, birthday I I really think it was wonderful uh, now let's uh, let's jump to uh, the business table that we have for today <coughs> Um, yeah. I, I think there's a little bit of weakness uh, when we when we come to talk about things that that are that are happening at the moment of speaking. نسميها present continuous. هذا موضوع هو grammar. بما إنه أنا كلش ما أحب grammar فما راح أعرج على تفاصيل هو يبي. بس خلي أحكي بالعربي شوية على هذا النقطة. انه احنا مرات من نتحدث على شيء صار قبل يومين او ثلاثه دن نستعمل باست فهذا الشيء كلش ستاندرد نتحدث على فيوتشر نستعمل فيوتشر تنس مرات نتحدث على اكشن هسه دا يصير مثلا يور جوب مثلا يور جوب از جيتنج ايزير يور جوب از جيتنج ايزير طبعا your job is getting easier هسه يعني at the moment of speaking من راح تتحدثين عن هذا يعني لازم تتحدثين على action هسه تصير يعني why is why is your job getting easier فهسه yeah. الاسئله اللي حكيتها اللي هي من السؤال الاول اللي هو unemployment is going up اللي هي البطاله دي تصعد is going up تلاحظين صح We are talking about things that are happening right now. هذه بالورش السابقة وياك لاحظت أنه إحنا عندنا نقطة ضعف بالكلام عن هذا الموضوع تحديدا. Okay. فمرات من نتحدث عنه بالأكشن اللي هسه دا يصير يصير عندنا إرباك وخلط بالتنسز بالأزمنة. بالمناسبة إذا تقدرين السدين الباب لأن صوت أطفال دا يجي بالدرس. Sorry. Don't worry. عندي محاضرة. خلص راح تتعارك وياهم. صعدين النقاط. اوكي. ف ال ناو هسه راح اسالك الاسئله بس حتى يكون عندك باك جراوند نولج اباوت ذيم على هذه ال okay. على هذه الاسئله فلاحظي هسه احنا مثلا unemployment is going up. اللي هي البطالة دا تصعد The price of petrol is falling The number of smokers is increasing And we, you remember mm-hmm. when we talked about Amar And he is a heavy smoker He smokes hookah and all kind of stuff um, Yeah A lot of people are leaving your country for study Is this true? Are leaving So the, the action is happening at the moment of speaking Yeah um, Um, we have more people are working abroad. Not so why a bit at a bit at it's after. Yeah, but yeah, had to take over People are working longer hours. Has say any people are working longer hours are working. It is at the time of speaking. Uh, the yeah. price, the price of public transport isn't changing. الاجور مات النقل العام مدى يتغير isn't changing طبعا هو النقطة اللي الجوهرية انه لازم تعرفين انه هذا السؤال هو سؤال قابل للجدال يعني الفكرة من السؤال انه لازم تجادلين عليه حتى يكون قد الشخص امكانية الدفاع عن الرأي مالته وبنفس الوقت يسوي practice فهذه هي الفكرة people People are eating healthier food. Do you agree or disagree? 
طبعا احنا راح نيجي نتحدث عن الغذاء المعلب هل هذا هو healthy food okay yeah. Yeah. people are having larger families with three or four children do you agree or disagree بس هي الفكره شنو yeah. باثناء حديثنا دن سو براكتس على نقطه اللي هي is having are having are eating actions that صير at the moment of speaking yeah تمام Okay. Now, going back to uh, the the major topic that I had here. Yeah. Um, the first point that we are going to talk about is: Are people um, people are having larger families with three or four children? This is our first topic for discussion between Walid and I. Yeah. We are going to talk about families who are having larger. Uh, number of members. So some families in Iraq right now have more than 15,000 children in their families. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like uh, like your family, yeah. like, like your family right now. They have like 15 children in the house. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, because my uh, uh, my uh, brother yeah. family uh, uh, are here. Now let me ask you: How many children are there in the house right now? Uh, right now, uh, four children. Four. Oh, okay. So this is yeah. a very standard for our communication question for today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now the <laughs> the question is: People are having larger families with three or four children. So. According to the statement, three or four yeah. children are larger families. Now, why do you think people have four or more children in such a, a critical situation that the country is going through? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, the, main, yeah. the main reason is uh, living is very hard nowadays. Uh, oh, is that why uh, you're, you're having many children? Because uh, you have a, a very hard time? Uh, yeah. Come very on. Very hard time. How? Yeah. Uh, because uh, the children uh, uh-huh. uh, required, required uh, uh, the long time to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to teach, uh, to teach them uh, and to uh, to raise uh, uh, to raise uh, them uh, mm-hmm. so to uh, uh, they uh, require a lot of uh, things uh, and uh, when I uh, uh, when I give uh, give birth uh, uh, more than uh, uh, two children. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 that is uh, requires uh, uh, more money mm-hmm. and uh, more time mm-hmm. uh, to raise them. Raise yeah. them. Uh, raise. Raise. Yeah. Raise children. Raise the children. Okay. I disagree with you uh, for sake of discussion here. Um, I really think Why? that, well, if you have big family, that means you will have more support. Um so in, yeah. in this community, well, Iraq is getting uh, bigger, so we have more population. Now, remember, whatever I say, you have to disagree with me about. Uh, but, yeah. but remember, when you disagree, do not yeah. just say no, because I don't like you say no. You have to give me details. You have to provide evidence. You have to solidify the uh the statements of argument that you have against me. Do not just say yes yeah. or no and stop. Because the whole purpose of this question is to help you defend yourself, practice conversation, express your opinion in a formal give and take kind of discussion. This is the whole purpose of this conversation. I'm bringing up this question because of two things, because it has some grammar issues that I need to um, settle with you and, uh, you know, make you speak it with a better fluidity. And then the second thing is because I need to help you speak more than I speak. 
I need to shut my yeah. mouth and let you speak. So you need to express yourself and disagree with me. The question is, yeah. the question is, people nowadays in Iraq, people nowadays in Iraq are having larger families with three or four children. Is this good or bad and why? Did, did um, you understand the question? Yeah. العوائل ببغداد تخلف هواية زين لو مو زين ليش عندك ثلاث دقائق تتحدثين عن هذا الموضوع yeah uh, it is bad because they, they didn't uh, control on their uh, raising and on their uh, requires uh, and uh, on their uh, teaching them uh, so uh, they uh, They didn't control uh, on them uh, mm-hmm. in everything. Uh, mm-hmm. So, in my uh, opinion, uh, they uh, uh, they uh, uh, they are uh, having uh, two uh, or three children mm-hmm. uh, in in order to. Uh, con- uh, control on their uh, education and on their uh, behavior, uh, and uh, uh, they gave uh, gave them uh, uh, all uh, their uh, requires requirements. Uh, requirements. Don't you yeah. think? That, don't you think that having a, a bigger family is going to sustain? Uh, a better life for you because once the person gets older, he would uh, have left four or five children who will take after him. But in case of a very uh, conflicting country like uh, Iraq, like having one or two children is going to jeopardize their life probably. Um, and then there's not going to be that much focus given. Yeah. In this case, yeah. to taking care of your family and work, um, so it is really Im- it is really important that you have m- as many kids as possible. This is what I see. Do you agree with me or disagree? Yeah, uh, I uh, I would like to uh, say something. Go ahead. Uh, 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 we are a big family uh, mm-hmm. because my uh, father. Uh, is, uh, mm-hmm. um, have more than three or four children while you're working at the Ministry of Oil. Um, how how would you be able to control them? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, uh, we... Uh, I and uh, Hossam mm-hmm. uh, are planning that uh, uh, in the future uh, we will give birth one, uh, one, one person, child. One child, okay. Yeah. Well, no, um, the question that, um, that, is, that should be asked right now is that when people, yeah. when people in Iraq, in this critical state, critical uh, circumstances that the country is going through is it is it safe to have more than four children in one family no. or not i want you to give me a little bit of uh, good evidence uh, yeah. to explain why you agree or disagree yeah. to have more than four children in in your family yeah and i will be uh, just listening i'll shut my mouth yeah <laughs> uh, actually, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, uh, in my job, uh, uh, so a lot of uh, uh, colleague, mm-hmm. uh, colleagues, they, colleagues, yeah, uh, they are uh, they are busy and they are uh, uh, they are uh, very crazy. Uh, they told uh, mm-hmm. they told me uh, that uh, uh, they should uh, one of my colleagues mm-hmm. uh, uh, always uh, 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 take uh, a get pass. Uh, she told uh, she told me that uh, uh, she 
she have to uh, go to the uh, children's school and uh, uh, gave them to the house uh, and uh, so it's a uh, it's a hassle we say it's a hassle hassle um h a s s l e we 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 call it it's a hassle hassle what's the meaning of hassle yeah it's it's a hassle yeah, yeah. It's, يعني خبصة هواي يعني it's complicated يعني yeah. once you have more than two children it is going to be really hard to um, yeah. to control them to give them good education a quality education like if you are a government yeah. employee right now let's be honest uh, mm-hmm. the government employee um, spends most of his time in his office. Actually, the government employee sees his co-workers more than seeing his significant other, sees his yeah. co-workers in the, uh, in the ministry yeah. more, more than he sees or she sees her husband or wife, you know? So, um, yeah. so it is quite common to have, um, <clears throat> to assign the children to a kindergarten, but there is no guarantee that the kindergartens or the private schools or the government schools can take care of children the same way that yeah. their parents take care of themselves because the parents should nurture uh, children in nurture? a way. Nurture. Yani rabun, yani, uh, yeah. Nurture. Nurture. Mithil, mature picture. We have nurture. Yeah. Nurture. So they should nurture I their like, kids. In a, I like this word. Yes. Yeah. So they should nurture their kids in a way, um, in a way that seems um, acceptable um, on the in terms of uh, raising child, raising their children to become good citizens. You're not produ- yeah. You're not a factory to produce prodigy uh, that has no education. The word is prodigy. Bra digi. Prodigy. What's the meaning of prodigy? Well, you should Google it. I'm not dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> Google it. I am not a dictionary. The word is prodigy. No. Prodigy. Yeah. Prodigy. Right. Type a message. Prodigy. Type a message. Yes. Prodigy. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, now we've had enough conversation about this topic. Let's... Uh, a switch to the next topic that we got in our list for today. Uh, people are eating healthier food. Do you think that with the presence of highly processed food, junk food, KFC, um, delivery food, uh, unhealthy pizzas, and all kind of imported food, do you think? Yeah. Do you think people nowadays are consuming healthy, healthier food than ten years ago, or not? Remember, the, um, the question, no. the question yeah. is, to help you practice conversa- conversing with me about an action yeah. that is happening right now at the moment of speaking. Also, yeah. and additionally, you have to talk with evidence. Give me details. I love details. Details okay. are the secret of success of a good conversation. Okay? Okay. Details, okay. details, details. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I think uh, the people nowadays mm-hmm. uh, uh, are eating the junk food, mm-hmm. not healthier food, uh, because the restaurant mm-hmm. uh, for junk food uh, uh, is uh, uh, are much, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, uh, because uh, lots of uh, people uh, didn't have uh, enough uh, time mm-hmm. and uh, they in the, their uh, job mm-hmm. uh, they uh, they took uh, uh, they took uh, their food from the takeaway mm-hmm. takeaway takeaway yeah, food takeaway mm-hmm. yeah takeaway uh, uh, food uh, and uh, uh, they uh, because they didn't have uh, enough time uh, and uh, because of uh, uh, the restaurant for uh, cake 
food uh, is the very spread widespread widespread يعني منتشر yeah yeah widespread yeah, yeah. white widespread mm-hmm. uh, and the uh, uh, because the junk food is very junk uh, food. the way it, junk food junk what? junk food mm-hmm. uh, yeah uh, junk food is very easier because uh, um, it is easy uh, actually, to access uh, to, it is easy yeah to access it is easy yeah to access to access no, to, to yeah uh, actually uh, two uh, two uh, two of my uh, sisters mm-hmm. uh, are uh, fat okay uh, they are uh, they are uh, uh, 80 80 kilograms uh, right uh, kilograms yeah okay let's just stop uh, here of, um yeah. Aya, let's just stop here um no i know that the word that we learned from school is fat to means someone who's not thin but nowadays we do not say the word fat uh, that quite often um, because it is considered a, a kind of insulting word uh, to the self-esteem of the person who is fat. Maybe he's fat because he has uh, problems with his hormones or because he has some psychological impact factors that just uh, deter them from being able to gain uh, or lose weight, mm-hmm. not to gain weight, or they are not able to uh, go to a gym. There's so many issues. So we always say overweight, overweight. Over, yeah. Okay. Or we say obese. So obese or yeah. overweight. Obese, very, a very fat person and overweight. Uh, uh, puppy, uh, I forget this word. Puppy, I forget this word. Oh, okay. Blim- blimpy? No. Uh, oh. You can Google it later. Uh, there are so many words yeah. that we say here. Um, but I think the one that you're thinking of is... Uh, well, puppy is, is a, a little dog. Anyways. Um, yeah. It doesn't cross my mind right now. Um, the idea... The idea is that when I see a lot of people in Mansoor Mall, for example, uh, feeding their children. Chuppy. Chuppy. Chuppy, Chuppy is, yeah. is usual for a girl. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, but we can say it for a man. Yeah, but I, I commonly hear it associated with a girl, not with a, you know, yeah. with a, a woman, not with a man. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyways. Um, I, I see a lot of people actually feed their children in Mansoor Mall, a lot of junk food. There is, on the yeah. third floor, there are like tens of restaurants that serve junk food. Now, that is going to alter the self-esteem of the children. Children should always eat healthier food. But some people yeah. say, well, yeah. come on, the whole, the whole country is in a mess. Don't you think that yeah. giving... giving um, my children a delicious meal is a fair uh, treat for the kind of mess that we f- we see around us. I say yes to some extent, but yeah. the problem is that the constant feeding of your children of junk food is not going to help to be he- healthy for them. What do yeah. you what What is your comment on that? Yeah, uh, the junk. Food uh, is very bad for uh, children mm-hmm. uh, because uh, uh, we have to mm-hmm. uh, we have to uh, uh, help them uh, and uh, prevent them from the junk food. Uh, when uh, when we uh, we are uh, uh, we uh, we didn't prevent them from the junk food. Mm-hmm. Uh, they uh, uh, the junk food will uh, uh, will become uh, 
dangerous from mm -hmm. their uh, healthy in the future uh, of course uh, yeah in the future and mm -hmm. uh, the children uh, didn't uh, learn uh, didn't uh, wouldn't, learn about wouldn't, wouldn't learn yeah they wouldn't know about it yeah. because they will only yeah. see the consequences in the future yeah okay uh, also the uh, uh, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we have uh, to uh, uh, we didn't uh, we didn't uh, learn uh, uh, them uh, to eat uh, teach them. chocolates. Okay, so we didn't teach yeah. them. We didn't teach them to eat chocolate. Yeah. Okay, uh, that is awesome. I think our time for talking about this question is over. Let's move to the last question. I want this meeting to be for one hour. Um, yeah. I, I'm not going to make it one hour and a half. So we need to have one last question uh, before we yeah. end the conversation for today. Um, yeah. People are leaving the country abroad for yeah. immigration or for study. Do you think... Yeah. Do you think... This is true, and if yes, um, why? Actually, uh, actually, uh, the situation in my uh, country, in our country, is very bad. Mm -hmm. uh, the situation is not uh, uh, help, uh, helping mm -hmm. uh, as uh, to uh, to continue. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, working in uh, this uh, country because the uh, the corruption is the uh, so uh, the political uh, is corruption and uh, uh, the all uh, surface uh, is the uh, bad mm -hmm. uh, and the education is bad and mm -hmm. uh, uh, everything and uh, it what made is you no no. It is not safe. I mean, it's a it's a kind yeah. of private question. But what made you decide to, uh, you know, consider immigration? If you consider immigration, what made you consider this as an option, as an ultimatum for you, as ultimatum. an ultimatum, yeah. ultimatum, or as an ultimate option for you? What made you yeah. decide on this? Ultimatum. Uh, ultimatum. Ultimate decision. Yeah. Why, why did you decide on, you know, the immigration? Uh, immigration. Uh, I forget this word. In Hijra. Immigration. Yeah, yeah, immigration. Yeah. Uh, so, a uh, lot of people, uh, immigration. Uh, Immigrate. Uh, abroad. Immigrate is the verb. Immigration. Is the Immig noun? Yeah, uh, immigrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, why people? Why people are immigrating right now to study or to settle in another country? They are leaving the country. No. Why? A um, lot of people uh, immigrate uh, abroad to settle. Mm -hmm. To settle uh, there. Uh, um, my uh, two and um, uh, my uh, friends uh, immigrate on the U.S. and two. Uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, in the U.S. in the uh, Texas. In Texas. Uh, Texas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they are in Texas now. Uh, they uh, uh, they told uh, that the living is very hard uh, uh, over there. Uh, but it's uh, it's they, better to preserve your life in there. Preserve to keep your life to to keep you alive. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but uh, they uh, they keep your uh, life uh, over there, and uh, they uh, told uh, me mm -hmm. uh, that the, uh, that uh, 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 they uh, they are working. Uh, mm -hmm. full, uh, full full time, time. full time mm -hmm. yeah yeah full time because the living is uh, very expensive we can say it's never in living conditions yeah the living conditions 
او الظروف المعيشيه yeah. احنا نستعمل living conditions uh, yeah. living conditions let me just write it to you here الظروف yeah. المعيشيه now awesome I'm not translator. I love this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I am not a translator, Aya, so you gotta Google it. Okay, now, <laughs> one, last, yeah. one last question. Uh, what did you learn from our lesson for today? Uh, it was very useful and uh, uh, I was uh, interesting. Did I give you uh, positive energy or negative energy? Uh, no, positive energy. Can I be your brother so you can bring me the next Adidas pair of shoes? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Actually, you are okay. my brother now. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a so, pleasure and what, it's an what, honor. What is, uh -huh. uh, when is, when is your uh, pair day? Okay, my, oh, uh, that's quite interesting. My birthday is very long from today. It's December 31st. I don't get the chance yeah. to celebrate my birthday. Everybody's celebrating the new year. And I wow. sit, I sit I crying would... and whimpering by myself. Whimper, whimper. Yeah. I sit and whimper by myself. Whimper. And don't ask me about its meaning because I'm not a dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whimper. whimper. What's the meaning of whimper? Uh, Google it. I'm not a dictionary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, great to talk to you. Um, the, uh, the meeting for today is short because I don't want to take much of your time for your family. It is your break. It is your healthy weekend. And I intend to make the lesson as enjoyable as possible. So taking a longer lesson is going to add to pressure on you. This is not something that I like. We converse we train to have fun yeah. to have fun and learn not to yeah. enforce you not to force you to have an english yeah. lesson this is not my style we only practice conversation yeah. uh, as friends yeah. uh, i know i'm your yeah. trainer uh, your coach your supporter and your uh, your teacher but the thing is sometimes we have to look at the uh, psychological fact you are taking a weekend so we do not want to make the lesson long because it's going to be boring on the long run. On the long run. Yeah. On, on the long run. On the long yeah. run. We, we want to take a very short lesson that is enjoyable to make you smile, have fun, uh, learn something, and then be productive. Yeah. And I am sure I gave you positive energy, so you'll be ready and happy to have a le another lesson with me uh, in two days. Yeah. Yeah. Say, say hi to your mom. I really oh. love to meet her one day. Um, and uh, I'll meet you on Hassam, inshallah, soon in Baghdad. Yeah, thank you. Have a Thanks one. for your effort. Effort. Thank you for I your effort too. Wish you wish you a lovely night. Say uh, hi to your family. Likewise. Have a lovely evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.